Hello everyone, this is Diane. I'm going to do some more organizing today. What I wanted to do, I can't do today because I wanted to get a container like this, which is divided and um, uh, tiered. It has different levels. And I have, sorry, I dumped, dumped some stuff out of it. I have journaling cards in here. And when I get something similar to that, I'll sh tell you what I want to do with it. But I went to Walmart today um, for two things. To get one of those, because I'm pretty sure I got that at Walmart. But they didn't have anything like that. They had open containers, but I wanted divided ones. And I wanted bananas, because I need them for our chocolate fondue. Sunday night, and it's very rare anymore that you find bananas just the right, um, like you can't buy them and eat them. Either they're, they're too ripe, so they're ready for banana bread almost, or they're too green. So I got some green ones, hoping they'll be ready in time for Sunday, Christmas Eve. But, you know, I couldn't get the one thing, but I did get the bananas, so that's good. So today I decided I'll organize my dies and my embossing folders. There isn't too much to do with embossing folders, but um, I do have some work to do with dies. So I have a lot of dies and I acquired, look at this, I forgot I had it. This was um, on clearance at Hobby Lobby and I forgot it was in there and that's an embossing folder. So like I said, um, organizing things helps you remember what you, forgot you had. Um, so I think I'll do the embossing folders first, but I want to try this one out. I saw that on Amazon. I've had it for a few weeks and I thought it would be great for mid-century modern and also circus journal. So I'm going to try cutting it out in some circus colors. And I brought my big shot over here. Well, I better cut my cardstock first. Some circus color cardstock. My platform on the big shot will accept six inches wide, so I'll cut these <coughs> in six inch widths. Actually, I don't need it to be six inches, so I can cut it at four and a quarter. I, no, what is it? It's 11, 11 inches, so I'll cut it at five and a half. That, that will make it halfway. I was thinking of the eight and a half inch side. Five and a half inches. a little close for that, but I'm not going to try to adjust it. I forgot the plates. Okay, so what we have buried them. There are three dies. There are two that, that are offset with each other. So you can cut them in two different colors and then you'll get this really fun effect. And then the third die is this to frame it. So let's just start with a fun circus color. I'll do red and blue to start with. And I might as well cut one of each. They'll be in different pieces. I'll use them in 
I'm not going to use these together, but I might as well cut them both while I'm running it through. hope it works. It's kind of close to the edge. Sometimes you don't get as much, well, not sometimes, you don't get as much pressure at the edge, so it doesn't always cut the greatest there. Try to center it. And I will add a couple of pieces of cardstock. Just that little bit will make a difference in pressure. Now already it pushed this plate down. <clears throat> yeah, it's going to push it down. Why? Flip it over. I think it was because it's bowed up. So now it's bowed down and maybe that won't push it away. Yeah, that's better. Oh, definitely don't need the shim. There. See, it really made a difference. Just didn't need it. It sounds like cracking ice, doesn't it? And what I didn't do was add a dryer sheet to get all those little dots out, but I think they're going to come out easily. I'm just doing it over my waste basket. They pop right out. Most of them. So the ones that are near the edge, they're not cut all the way through. So I think I'll only do one at a time. So I'll be able to cut around them. Okay, let's cut a different color so we can put them together and see how they look. So I'm going to use this one and I'll just put it down into the center of the plate. Oops. I'll put that plate on first, the cutting plate. Put it together with this. I think that's how it goes. These spots may look a little funky because I can't cut them perfectly round. That one was good because it was almost all the way cut out. I'm gonna cut another one with this die more in the center of the plate. But this, that's not right. This is what you get. Isn't that fun? I'll try a yellow one to go with the red. And 
And then we'll move on to organizing. I can put it at the top of the paper so that I, I, I'll still be able to get two out of each paper, but just slide the paper down. So that was too close to the side edge, but that one is easily corrected as long as the dots come out. So if I turn it the other way so that the edges aren't close to the side edge, um, I don't think I could get two pieces out of each piece of cardstock. I'm poking the dots out over my waste basket. And the ones along the edge are still attached right along that edge. Darn it. I have three of them. So I think what I would have to do is say the platform is all there. I'd have to put it this way instead of this way. And that way these edges are in and receiving more pressure. So let's try putting this one together. How fun. Now I've got dots all over. I should save those for confetti. <laughs> I like these. And then doing them in different colors would make it, would give it a mid-century modern look. Like pink and black, something like that. So yeah, there's that. This is a Tim Holt Sizzix die. Um, does it have a name? Layered Dots, 666385, and I found it on Amazon. All right, that's enough of that. No more fun. Actually, I, I'll try cutting the frame around it some other time. Maybe black, I don't know. I'm going to put this where it belongs. And put this with my circus stuff. Get my big shot out of the way. All right, I'll show you what I use for my embossing folder storage. And that is this giant binder that I got many years ago at. Um, what was it called? We don't have it anymore. It's not MJ Designs. I don't remember. I didn't go very often because it was the opposite direction from where we usually go. But anyway, it has these pockets for storing dies. And I don't have room for all of them. Like This one is a big one, so it won't fit in there but I have more than this will hold. This one split in half when I used it once. I just 
you know, stick it, st stick the two pieces around some cardstock and use it. So I basically, I'm just putting away some that I had just recently gotten out. And I should probably purge some that I don't use. Oh, I think I want to use this for circus journals. It's a frame with polka dots. I'll set that aside. Maybe these other ones were out for the same reason. I think they were. I got them out for circus journals. Yeah. So I guess I'm not going to organize these just yet. See, here's the other piece of this broken one. So I just put some cardstock between it in between the two pieces and then hope it holds together without sliding. If it gives me too many problems, I'll just trash it. And I have this, which is a 3D embossing textured impressions. So it's thicker than these. I'm not sure if it'll fit. This is already torn here. It would be a very tight fit. So since I have more than then we'll fit in here. I might as well keep the 3D ones out. This one is gorgeous and I haven't even tried it. I forgot I had these because they weren't in this binder. They were in a drawer. Out of mind. I mean, out of sight, out of mind, right? So I guess I don't really need to do anything in here. That's probably another one I got out for circus journals, just in case. But... This is full. So I'll set these aside. Now, this is where I've been storing my dies. I do have some dies like this that most of them I got from a friend of mine who quit doing paper crafts. And there's quite a few of them. So I have a plastic drawer unit where uh, it's right underneath the table where my Big Shot and my Cricut are. So these fit in one of the, in the bottom drawer, I put them in there. So I need to, I'm going to have a die cutting well, more than one die cutting session and I want to get all of these out and use them and kind of remind myself what I have and what they look like oh there's I love this little tag so yeah I've got to get those out and use them but I just wanted to show you that I have dies that don't fit in this basket I better put this away And I have dies in this basket. And what I recently did was from Amazon, I got these envelopes that come with magnets and I started storing them like this. And I just bought one set. I think there's a dozen in here in, in one set and I will leave a link below. Um, but I wanted to try it out. I knew it wouldn't be enough. So I liked it. So there's that, and this one has some stamps that go with it, so I just put them in the back. Um, I think these are three different sets, but they're small, so they all fit in one. And I have two sets of numbers, no, three sets, because that is, that's one there. So three sets of numbers, and I've got room for something else there. And my wildflowers. And these are corners. I think they were all one set, these three, and then this was separate. And I keep these pieces with it. So I have to put those flowers on a magnet. I've got lots of other sets that need magnets. Okay, what else? This is one of the Elizabeth Craft Design sets. And these are some of the little pieces that I had already cut out. I guess this is where I need to be, sorry. 
And this set, that's um, Sam Poole. I think these are all one set, just stamping up. Yep, set of six. Yeah. Oh, there's only five there. I must have one mixed in with something else. There's some gears. There's These are some of my oldest dies. I think it was AC Moore. That was the store where I bought that folder. <clears throat> and these kinds of dies, I can't remember the brand, but they sold these pretty at really good sale prices often at AC Moore. So that's where I got those. But I think AC Moore is out of business. I know it's not in Vestal anymore. I have an arrow stuck in there. And I have some scallop circles and some plain circles. And these are both Stampin' Up. And some scalloped ovals and plain ovals. And these... Where am I in the screen? Okay. And this set with Polaroid, and uh, these are all stamping up too. And I'm not sure. I, I don't. I'm sure these sets aren't sold anymore. But some of these went together, and I don't know. I think the heart went with these, and this went with something else. But I just put everything like that in there. This is another one that comes with some stamps that are stamped in the center. But I never use them. It's happy birthday, love, hello, congrats, and thanks. I never use the stamps. And then this is a doily and some circles and another doily, a bigger one. This is a Graphic 45 set, and it comes also comes with a, like a coin envelope or a policy envelope, and these are for the envelope but it's too wide to fit in here. So it's in the drawer. These need to go on a magnet. Those need, those squares need to go on a magnet. So I guess it's time to get the magnets out and get to work. This was just a separate one. That's a Tim, uh, not Tim Pool. <laughs> Sam pool. Maybe it'll fit in my other Sam pool one. It's a tattered doily. I could just stick it in there for now. And I can see here what all of the other dies are. I might move that, but that's what I have for now. So, all of these are not on magnets. Put these in the basket. So I have all of these empty pouches that those dies were in. And I may keep some of them in the pouches like this. It only has three kind of big pieces, so I probably won't put this on magnets. I'll just keep it in its original pouch. This is one I want to make sure I get onto a magnet before I lose pieces. Just got this. Ordered it from Amazon. It came last week. I haven't had a chance to do anything with it. looking to see if it said a quantity, but I don't see it. This 
So we need 17 dies. I'm just looking to make sure these go with this set. I know I'm going to use those a lot. I think there are three sizes of this. One, two, three. So where's the other one? Here it is. And this does not go in here. I don't want to make it too challenging to put away. This one is supposed to, oh, I'm supposed to put them this way. But it does say Sizzix on that side. See, now I can see that that's a postage stamp edge. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. I have them all here. A good magnet. I think I should take a picture of this so I know how to put it away. There, I made it all fit. Maybe that could go in there. Yeah, it can. Okay, there we go. easier to put the flap in the notch on this side so you're not fighting with the dies. I love this set and I can't wait to really play with it. I did cut some things with it. Those, cut a lot of those of the small size and I, I think I cut a few other things with it too. Okay, now I've got some squares, and they have to go into two separate piles. That's two, maybe three. That's too big. Wow. Do I 
have to use up two envelopes for this. Um, I'm not going to waste two envelopes for that. So I will just put them in this spare. I don't think it'll hurt them to just float around in there. these and I had all of these in one pouch because if I wanted any of these types of shapes I just got this one pouch out and got them all out and used them which I did recently for the scrap buster journals but we'll try separating them another one will fit. Oh. So I'm just going to put some random pieces that don't really have a set to go in. slots. only has one slot, which is fine. I only use one slot anyway. Oh, here's another one that I put. This is my Tim Holtz tag die. I think it also helps to have the the cutting side facing up because then you can see this inner part right here is the cutting line and it gives you a better idea of the size that you're going to get. There's some more squares. I wonder if I'm missing, I think I'm missing one of those. Here's a big one. Because this is not the same, it didn't come with it. I'll have to search over there by my table. Maybe it fell on the floor. Let's see if these squares will fit. Actually, I want to do the flowers first, just because I want to. Oh, 
Lori Whitlock for Sizzix. I don't see the leaf. I think I have leaf dies, and so I probably put this leaf in with the other leaf dies. So this is supposed to have 10. Okay, so this has some that don't belong. Let's see this one. Well, I'll figure that out another time. I figure it out another time, but now I'm just figuring it out. Now, what does the leaf look like? It's this one. I'm taking them off. They say Sizzix. There's that one, and that one, and the leaf. That's this one. Okay, so this one is this one. And this one, I think. It's not that one. I don't know, it's got square ends, but I don't know what it is. Okay, let's move on. I have this one and this one. say Sizzix, so I'm putting them on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think this one says Sizzix also, but that might go with this one. Yeah. Okay. Phew. What's, oh, this is that, that square one I was looking for. So this probably goes over here. It doesn't matter that much, does it? Only for OCD people, which I may or may not be about certain things. I hope this isn't too boring for you. I'm having fun. So now I better put these out. This one has 21 dies. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six flowers like that. I'm pretty sure I don't have 21 dies right here. And they're little, they're littler than what you might think. Those are all leaves. So some of these leaves belong here. Oh, 
yeah these are the these are the leaves one two three four leaves well looks like i'm missing one of those and a branch that flower but where's the big one of that I'm so confused I'm just gonna put these flowers on here and I will figure it out later I can mix and match it doesn't matter but I like to have them with their right sex Maybe I'll have to die cut to actually see what goes with what. I have 18, so there are three missing. There are 10 in there, so even if they're not in the right places. I'm missing three pieces. Now let's get those leaves put away. And I know these are from various sets because some of these are stamping up. So these have a little stitched line on them and I think those are the stamping up ones. be stamping up also but they don't have a stitch line on them so they're a different set that doesn't fit in there so I can't fit them all on one but I can put them on this side and I think I'd rather do that than use two envelopes so some of these with the Stampin' Up! set, like that doesn't have any detail in it, but there's a stamp that goes with this set. So I'll have to get the stamps out and put it with this. Some of them are detailed dies and some have the stamps, but they all went to one set. with that set. How long have I been doing this? I can't see the clock on, <clears throat> on my phone. Can't see the countdown. I'll fix that. 
this makes a pocket and this little, I don't even know what that's supposed to be. Oh, there's a big leaf that fell out. Or maybe never got put in. I'm thinking that maybe this, this orange side of the magnet doesn't work very well. I don't think you're supposed to use that. I could put two magnet sheets in a pouch. This is a tag that goes inside that, I think. And then we get some flowers to decorate with. Let's see. One, two, I'm missing two daisy flowers. They probably got put some in some other pouch. Jeepers. Ah, there they are. So I could, you know, take these pieces out, the flowers and stuff, and use them. I don't have to use them just for this little pocket thingy. see a clock here oh there it is 47 does that say 47 it's upside down to me so yeah I think I'll call it quits here but I've got more work to do so I'm gonna keep going um, let me show you before I go oh never mind I'll show it to you in the next video my box of the fabric pieces that I was sorting yesterday looks really nice now so I'll show you this completed stuff and the completed fabric shaped pieces in the next video or in an upcoming video anyway. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today and I'll see you soon. Have a creative day. Bye-bye.